you are about to watch a short clip and this clip is viral i mean all of a sudden people are paying attention to this video and although it didn't happen in africa one will kind of wonder why stiff and stronger measures have not been taken i mean punishment wise let us watch this short clip and we will talk more welcome back sad right very much sad a lot of people have reacted to this video even though it is said to have um, been released sometimes last year or thereabout this video went viral and it got a lot of people talking i mean this video got a lot of attention on it and um, according to the report that we heard they said this lady apologized and a letter was written to the family of the young lady but strong and stiff measures were not taken against that woman why because the institution that um, should or would have done so ah internally raises themselves they are happy and um at times they just want to show empathy or sympathy by coming out to say no i am this i like that you know it's disgusting when you hear a caucasian saying i am white nobody is white i am white i like black people i have never seen anybody black i'm not trying to say black is um something disgusting but black simply means absence of color that's what it means a lot of people do not know that anyway all i've seen in this life is um shade of brown that's it i've seen shades of brown you might want to say peach but i've seen shade of brown darker brown chocolate brown and all of that that's what i've seen in life well let us leave the color aspect of the color spectrum out of this the young lady was excited thinking that she is in a free country, a country where she can exercise all her God-given talents, gift, and feel free. But all of a sudden, at that moment, after all the training, after all of the effort that she had put into what she, um, all, all she, she, she dreamt about, all that she worked for, all of the effort that she had put in her dream, and at the end of the day, whilst others were being awarded, given something to take home something to remember that day well she was skipped and obviously the woman intentionally skipped the lie is that oh she forgot it uh, she didn't remember that's a big lie we saw you see there's something called body language you need to do uh, more of code reading where you look at people's mannerisms, the way she hung her body the way she moved she the way she went back to pick when the medals finished to put on the rest of the children. But this one, she did it openly in public. She wanted people to see and she wanted the children there to learn, to see. Now, the funniest of it is this. The photographer behind saw this happening, kept taking pictures. He paused and saw it. Like, you didn't put medal on this one. But it kept quiet. This is how it works. That is why you need to work more on self-love. You see, a lot of Africans do not love themselves. They do not love themselves. I'll give you a shot, just a scenario. Imagine yourself somewhere in Europe. It could be anywhere. In a country where you have uh, more Caucasians. And you're in the bus. And you have probably three four brown skinned people inside of the bus and the rest of them in the bus are caucasian imagine something happens to one person among them what you will realize and see is that the three others will be against that other person because they believe that they need to um, they, they they need to be against the other person so that they can be accepted it's crap mentality it's foolishness but if it were the other way around you will realize that those caucasian will support each other regardless of the country that they are from they will automatically support each other they will show empathy to each other 
Yes, that is what they will do. They will. In fact, most of the times, I'm not saying always, but most of the times, you will find brown-skinned people against each other for a Caucasian. Whereas a Caucasian will never be against our own or his own for you. Let us look at it again. In Africa, a Caucasian arrives. Children come out rejoicing, happy, joyful, seeing someone different, someone new. That spirit inside of them embraces that person. Now, we all know that children will always be children unless adults teach them whatever impacts into them wrong or bad. At times, it kind of made me look back. Is it because of the false Jesus, the picture of fake Jesus that you will find in majority of churches, even those that call themselves prophetic church, they will still have that picture there. And I'm wondering what they are seeing in this realm of the spirit. If they do not know that this picture is one Italian guy, maybe he's probably somewhere drinking um, beer and doing whatever with different women. That's the picture of the guy that you always find in churches all over Africa. Maybe Africans have been brainwashed into thinking that Jesus Christ, God, angels look like those Europeans and they look like whoever it is. But if it were the other way around, as an African, a brown-skinned person, you arrive in Europe, arrive in any country where you have majority that are Caucasians, light skin, what will happen? You will be looked down. They will pretend and act like you will devour them. They will pretend and act like you're a vampire. They will not want to embrace you. They will feel that uh, you are a stench to them. This is how they work. This is how they operate. What does that tell you? Well, you might live abroad. You might, you might have experienced your racism, even prejudice. You know, we do see that. And you know that they cannot be. Uh, it's only among those, among someone who has power. Someone who has power over you. Look at this little child. So much pain in her eyes. She will never forget it. It's gone over social media. And I think it's time for those who have the voice, like how we are lending our voice to it, for them to rise up against that, for that child. You know, social media has done some very great and good things, like this one. It's all over social media. Let us raise our voice to it and let us make it louder. You know, back in those days, some certain groups of people controlled what you see and what you hear. And this is how they've been able to manipulate the whole world. Information, they say, is power. Now, let us use our voice also to transform. Let us use our voice to transmit. Let us write our own narrative and not somebody else writing it. If this video does not, you know, move you, well, I don't know. Let it go viral. Let us like and share this video. Let it touch the hearts of people. I mean, I'm not saying Caucasians. I'm talking about you as an African. First, begin to like and love yourself. Begin to act honorably to yourself. And then you can press this out and make whoever out there disrespecting you realize that you are as equal or even maybe much better than them. Like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel. See you in the next update. <laughs>